My name is Alan Tripp. I'm the founder and CEO of Modomatic. And uh, let's see, is that deck coming up or do I have to press something? Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, uh, I've been in education technology and student success for a long time. Uh, uh, founded my first business in 1992, sold that to Kaplan. Second business, Inside Track, I sold to Strata last year. And I've been working on Motomatic for a couple years. Uh, we're doing something really novel in the area of what we call automatic motivation. We've built a system that supports people in achieving important goals. And we are applying that in higher education at the moment. Uh, we were founded in San Francisco in 2015. Uh, our revenue model is a uh, subscription model uh, priced at $12 per student per month. Uh, the university is the customer. We have 16 university customers right now. Uh, and uh, many of the most innovative uh, and best run uh, universities in the country are our customers. Uh, I probably don't really need to spend much time on this slide. Um, as most of you know, there's a huge amount of value that can be created with improved retention. Uh, but um, we've come up with a really novel way to, to do that. And in a sense, in, in a nutshell, we're serving custom streams of encouraging, motivating content to specific students that attend our client institutions. Uh, and we're serving them content that's relevant and appropriate to them, that reminds them, encourages them. Uh, essentially, we're trying to drive improved behavior, improved actions that lead to better outcomes. And the really novel thing about what we're doing is that we're serving this content over advertising networks. So we are literally paying to advertise to current students so that our messages can appear directly in their Facebook feed, their Snapchat feed, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Google Display Network. And by doing that, we're speaking to them where they actually are. Because as most of you probably know, students are really hard to communicate with these days. Very few students even bother to read emails. It's very hard to communicate with them. So if you can't communicate with them, how can you support them? How can you change their behavior? And in fact, students that struggle, students that are most at risk, are the least likely to open an email or to respond to a text or a call from an advisor. So the way our system works, those students are very likely to be procrastinating even more than the average student. They're spending a lot of time on their favorite apps and websites. The more time they spend there, the more messages we can serve them. And we typically serve them eight to 12 messages a day. Um, you know, we're a very science-based organization. We do rigorous analytics. Uh, we have a number of very exciting uh, controlled experiments we've done at this point. Our first big controlled trial was uh, two years ago. And I like to say that this graph represents a historic event. It represents the first time that online advertising was used to drive improved engagement and improved student outcomes. So we're, you know, again, to underline, we're using advertising for a totally new purpose. We're not trying to get people to buy something. We're not trying to get them to enroll. We're trying to get them to take actions that result in them being more successful as students. And in this case, we took a group of 3,318 online students, split it in half randomly, the even number student IDs got Motomatic, the odds did not. And the blue line represents Motomatic students. You can see that the, there was a 260 basis point improvement in the uh, completion of the first semester, then there was a break, and then at the start of the next semester, there was a 350 basis point improvement. And a year later, there was actually 400 basis points of improvement in the number of students enrolled. And that was four percentage points on a base of 45 percentage points. So what that means is there was actually 9% more students left in the Motomatic group at the end of the year than in the comparison group. These were groups that were identical in size and composition at the start of the year. The Motomatic group, perhaps more importantly to some universities at least, generated $850,000 more revenue than the comparison group. And that was a result of reduced attrition and reduced refunds. Um, 
That was not the only trial we've done. We've done a number of trials since then. Uh, and uh, we have a number of trials ongoing right now. We're constantly learning. Uh, oh, I have two minutes, okay. Um, we're getting, we continue to have very encouraging results and a number of our customers based on results we've gotten in trials working with them have expanded to their full uh, entering class. Uh, we also see improved assignment completion. Um, our content library, we have more than 5,000 messages in our library. We need a lot of messages because we, uh, we, our messages are organized into what we call channels that speak to different student attributes. Depending on the student's attributes, this is data we get from the university, but depending on their attributes, we're able to assign the student to certain channels of content so that they see messages that are especially relevant to them. Um, the messages themselves, each of them has a specific objective and uh, is roughly falls into two different categories. Messages that inspire you or increase your motivation to take positive actions. And then the, the first category there, making it easier. These are messages that make it easy to return to the LMS, to uh, access to the advisory, uh, the uh, your advisor center, or to uh, make some other kind of connection or take some action in a short term that's gonna lead to long-term success. Um, each message also takes advantage of specific behavioral strategies, which are all based on research um, that drive different actions. So each student gets a custom stream of content. Um, and uh, we're you know, each student that has different attributes is gonna get different streams of content based on the channels of modematic content that we subscribe them to. Um, our system orchestrates the whole process. The system incorporates the message library student data that we receive from the university, performance data that we get back from all the advertising networks, and the system then is able to optimize the experience of the student. Um, and then it's very easy for the university to implement this program, doesn't require any effort for them to sustain or scale it, and that's something they really like. Uh, we do give them ways to access really interesting data about the effectiveness and impact of our messages. Great team, and that's the uh, and here's some, what some messages look like. And happy to share more with you later. Thank you very much.